One thing you might not know about me is that in addition to wearing historical fashion daily and hand sewing a lot of my own clothing, I'm actually a professional singer by trade and I've been singing professionally since I was a teenager. My background is in contemporary singing and I've also sung a lot of jazz. So that's kind of the perspective that I'm going to be coming from for this video. You can imagine coming from this background, I get really frustrated when people say that you can't breathe in a corset because I wear corsets every single day, historical corsets to be clear. So today I'm going to prove that not only can you breathe in a corset, you can also sing professionally in a corset and you still are okay. And I would argue that in some instances, you're actually better off because the corset often supports you as you're singing. But I'll explain that in a minute once I go into some of the mechanics of what it's like to sing. To begin with, it's important to know what exactly is happening in your body when you take a breath. In singing, we primarily use diaphragmatic breathing. So if you're familiar with something like meditation or yoga, then you're probably very well aware of what it means to take a very deep breath because in those instances, you are going to be utilizing more so diaphragmatic breathing. The diaphragm is a muscle located kind of in this area. And what it is, is it's bell shaped like this. And when you take a breath, it's actually flattening out a bit more like this to create room for the air. In singing, we're often told that it's sort of a down and out feeling. And that's kind of what you're going for when you are taking a breath. If you can see here in my corset, and this is just what I would wear kind of on an everyday basis, the majority of the tension is here at my waistline. And there's actually quite a lot of space here in the hip area of the corset, so much so that I can put my hand here. What that means is that there is plenty of space for my diaphragm to be able to expand down and out, which is what you're going for when you take a breath for singing. That's why I don't find it hard to breathe in a corset and why when I take a breath for singing, it's in a way actually supporting me. One of the exercises that we very regularly practice in training is actually where you will lay on the ground with a book on your diaphragm. And the goal is to be able to hold the book up as much as possible. What this does is strengthen your diaphragmatic muscle because just like any other muscle in your body, it also needs to be trained. This is what you'll often hear about singers having great breath control. A lot of it is about having strong diaphragmatic muscles. So just coming from more of an angle here now so you can see what I'm doing. As I take a breath, you're going to notice that my diaphragm is falling down and out. And you can see the expansion created here to where it almost looks like I'm pregnant, but that is actually because of strong diaphragmatic muscles. And as you can see here too, there's still plenty of room here under my corset for a hand to be put, even though there's still plenty of room as well for my diaphragm to keep expanding. And as you can see, I'm talking all in one breath while contracting my diaphragm muscle and I'm still able to communicate to you all. So it must not be preventing that so much. The reason why I would argue that corsets are actually supportive of diaphragmatic breathing is just like the book exercise that I described to you all, the corset is creating a kind of counter tension here. By lightly cinching in the waist, and I say lightly because I don't practice tight lacing, and in fact, a lot of people don't. This is just kind of standard normal lacing and how I would wear it day to day. But this is creating some resistance against my diaphragm muscle, which is making me work more for the breath which in the case of singing is good because it reminds us to keep breathing, which is something that you can kind of forget to do as you're practicing. And it's really easy to not take a big enough breath when you're singing and then kind of run out of air. So now that you understand the body mechanics of what breathing and singing looks like, I'm going to go through some fun experimentation where I'm going to sing some vocal exercises that I would do day to day for singing just real quick so that you can all see sort of this in practice and see exactly what I mean. And also just to prove a point that it is perfectly possible to sing in a corset. So as you can see there, it was perfectly possible for me to run through that entire scale, all with normal breathing and 
in a corset at my normal lacing. So obviously if I was able to do that, I can definitely breathe in a corset. Now most of us don't do vocal exercises every day, so that's kind of an extreme example. So for that reason, I'm actually gonna put it into practice by singing part of a song. I had to think really long and hard what song I was going to sing because of the whole copyright stuff. So I'm actually going to sing one of my own songs because of course I won't get copyright infringement on something that I've written. I have placed a link in the description box down below where you can subscribe to my music channel. I'm going to be finishing my EP hopefully this year, so I will be posting there more in the future. And I've also placed a link to the full version of the original song I'm about to sing on Spotify if you end up liking it and wanting to hear more. These wolves between us, they threaten to let me stay. And these mountains between us climbed every pass we could just to get to where we are, just to make this song unfold. Cause all is somewhere else, somewhere we lift ourselves, a life that makes us feel so. A life that wraps us up in warmth. If we think historically, there were people who were professional singers and they also would sing in a corset. So really it just comes down to having good diaphragmatic breathing, which you're going to be training anyways if you're entering professional singing. And unlike in the movies where people are being laced to practically death, that isn't happening in real life. Most people are wearing their corsets just like I am in a very kind of standard and regular way. Thank you so much for watching and Bruna here says thank you too. And we'll see you all in two weeks for another video. You want to say bye, right? Bye. Love you.